Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Russell Mihan, um, aka Quebec. Um, I'm going to be doing one of the murals in Old Trafford for OT Creative Art Trail, um, and I'm here to show you a little bit about how to create some graffiti letter styles. Uh, with graffiti, it's all about um, making the word look look different, unusual, and stylish. Um, so what you want to start is with um, how most graffiti artists start, just using um, rectangular shapes to put your letters together like this. That's the letter L. Um, but that's quite boring. So what we need to do is we need to start moving those shapes around and create some kind of style and flow. So the way to do that is to start bringing them into more of a diagonal kind of composition like this. Um, and then you can start adding more bits to the L. So it doesn't have, just have to be two pieces. It could be made out of three rectangles but always trying to make the, the letter look like it should look don't go too abstract with it although you can go really abstract with it it's up to you um, but if you want to read it and it's always good to see what the actual letter looks like so you can start adding little bits to it sticking off little things kind of what they call in the graffiti world little doodads <laughs> silly name but makes sense um, so it's all about being loose as well with you with your letter and, and your styles you don't want to be too um, you don't want to be too rigid with it all you need to let your hand flow and let your mind wander a little bit um, try not to make it too rigid keep it loose and, and keep the flow bouncing from one letter to another I'm gonna write the word love today so um, we were thinking it'd be interesting for you to think about words that is so that you associate with this area it's quite a simple task for this but my word is love i love this area um, love old trafford that's what my piece is going to say so what i'm going to do now is now i've got my rough shape of my letter l i'm just going to get some pens um first things first get the black pen but you don't have to use black it's totally up to you you can be as creative as you want with with the color choice so there's the letter L, black outline around it. You're forgetting about all this stuff in the middle, all these connections, that's just where I've been really loose and trying to get the letter to look good um, and form it to, to make it look like it look, should look like an L as well. Next stage is, as most people will know, get your rubber out and rub these bits out. That's why you need to be really loose as well with your pencil lines in the first place because you don't want to give yourself too much, like I've done here, <laughs> too much, um, of the pencil that you can see after the rubbing out stage. That looks a little bit like a U or a W, but you know, once you put all the other letters with it, it's gonna be an L, everyone should be able to see what the word says. Um, so we've got that. Next thing is to get your colors and figure out what you're gonna do on the inside. When I use spray paint, it's a lot easier to do blends um, and things like that with the colors than it is to do with felt tips. So I'm just gonna try and do a really quick rough version of how I normally kind of blend colors together so try to go from dark to light in the middle uh, when you're thinking about filling your graffiti word in it doesn't have to look really traditional like mine's gonna look like this is gonna look basically like old-school kind of um, New York style graffiti um, just that some colors uh, colors faded together with some patterns on the inside um, what you can do is you can maybe fill your letters in with some ideas from from once again how you feel about this area the things that you like about the area but all the while using the word and the letter styles and your own letter styles to, to convey the message that we're trying to that we're trying to say What we do after this is start putting the 3D in or a shadow underneath it to bring the letter away from the page. So I normally do my 3D coming diagonally like this. So really quickly find a vanishing point, figure out which way you want the 3D to go. It doesn't really matter. Um, sometimes it's nice if it all goes in one way so it balances with the whole word. Bring these lines down and then just mirror all of these bits basically. So that line, you're mirroring that 3D with that this one here comes down that's my midline there so that's gonna like, like the letters twisting slightly at the bottom a 
you know I mean? You could do bubble writing if you wanted to and, and, and make your letters more out of kind of like sausage shapes in a way, like this. You don't have to stick to this, this kind of, you know, rigid kind of square style. Um, a lot of people like to do bubble writing like ease like this basically so you know really simple round kind of tube shapes as i said before this is where maybe you can be a little bit more creative because sometimes it's hard to put loads of stuff inside these letters um the background behind the, the letters is where maybe you could add images that that people could understand so whether it's architecture from this area your favorite building or your favorite part of the park or if you look into the history of the area as well, you can get ideas for your graffiti piece. I do a lot of um, site-specific murals. Um, so yeah, as I said, think about things that that might be interesting in this area that maybe people don't know about or maybe people do know about and try and make, make that story, visualise that story in, in this piece of artwork, basically. It's taking a pretty raw concept um, and a pretty raw kind of art form i.e graffiti and, and making it a little bit more fine art basically by 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 bringing a little bit of history or, or a little bit of the social or political you know things that have happened in this area um and, and making it and crossing the crossing the art forms over basically the ideas with the art form which isn't always what people do simply with most people would just do a load of bubbles or something like that around a piece like this um just to kind of highlight highlight the whole thing so you know if you stick to the concept of of this kind of graffiti looking piece but try and put as much of your own identity into it um, and as much of this area's identity into it as well it should look really cool and um, if we can get some ideas from that I'd be really happy there we go it's pretty rough 3D is completely wrong, but it, <laughs> it kind of stands out. If you imagine paint, painting on a wall, that would look really, really good, really bold, um, quite in your face. You know, you wouldn't really, um, you wouldn't really fail to, to, to see that as you walk past. Uh, but yeah, just um, have a go and just have fun with it. That's that's what we want.